steps into it. Pass is caught. Diggs! Sideline! Touchdown! Unbelievable! Vikings win it! see Marcus Williams here he has a shot I'm not sure really what he's thinking Joe he comes in he's got him dialed in and he just all he's got to do is make a play and even if he catches it you tackle him in bounds the game is over and I know Diggs he's he's catching this he's expecting somebody to hit him and he turns around heck nobody's there and he's off to the races and it's pandemonium 61 brilliant yards for Stefan Diggs and Case Keenum has just taken the Minnesota Vikings to the NFC Championship game. It's put up by the Eagles. And it's a line drive kick. Jackson bobbles it and now has to try and recover. Deshaun Jackson gets a block. Are you kidding? Deshaun Jackson still not in and now in for the touchdown. No flags. Unbelievable! Do the Titans have a miracle left in them in what has been a magical season to this point? If they do, they need it now. Christie kicks it high and short. Going to be fielded by Lorenzo Neal at the 25. Yeah, give Pitches it, to... it back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. 30, He's 40, got something. 50, He's got it. 40, He's got 20, it. 20, 10, He's got it. End zone. Touchdown Titans! There are no flags on the field! It's a miracle! Tennessee has pulled a miracle! Shotgun. Murray, out of the pocket. Seven seconds. Six seconds. Murray heaves it downfield! It is! Oh, it's caught! It is caught! DeAndre Hopkins! Miraculous! It's Murray magic! And DeAndre Hopkins is the man who comes away with it. He went over the top of Tredavious White. Jordan Poyer came in late. He's got Micah Hyde on his back and catches it and possesses it all the way through. Look at those hands. We keep hearing about those 6X gloves that he wears. For his large hands, how about how large and strong those hands are? You remember before the snap, I worried about Kyler Murray moving around too much and taking up too much time? His movement created an opportunity, and he threw it to the end zone to give him a chance. Before yes, I mean, it's we'll never see this run again, Jim. Brady's pass, it's intercepted and returned for a touchdown by Logan Ryan, the former Patriot. That. They have a chance to return a, a kick now, which is more likely. I mean, I know that's a great job, Tennessee. That's where you want to go down. That's where you catch that and go right down right there. You don't take it to the house there. You know what? They they they, they are wide. Travis Coons for the win. And it's blocked. And it's picked up by Will Hill. Will Hill runs down the sideline. Hill's going to get a block. Will Hill. It's going to win the game on a blocked field goal. Unbelievable. <laughs> Will Hill thrilled me. What a play at the buzzer. It's a kick six. And the Ravens find a way to win. They will kick the extra point. It is a 64-yard return. And now for the moment here, although the coaches are congratulating and consoling each way, they got to clean it up. Let's see who blocked this field goal. They have been, it may have been, they have been our guy. Number 90, Brent Urban. Urban from Virginia, who's playing his first game tonight. Six foot seven.
the announcement made by Brad Allen that we need to have the extra point to complete this game. Urban was the fourth round pick last year. He was on IR all of 2014 with a knee injury. Was put on injured reserve this year. Designated to return with a biceps injury. This is his NFL debut tonight. And he blocks it. And Will Hill from Florida takes it back. Washington outside left. Roethlisberger. Has time. Throws to the back of the end zone. And it is caught for a touchdown by Holmes. Unbelievable. Incredible. The official comes in. Let's just make sure he's in on a play like this. Obviously, they will take a long look upstairs. Then to the corner of the end zone. Does he get both feet down? Left definitely. Did the right tap as well with control. You have to have control both ben. feet down. I say yes. I, I do say too. both feet in, both feet down, and control of the ball. Amazing. Three Cardinals are there. You've got three guys. The, yeah, the he right, had it on the other side in the play before, though. Right. The right foot is coming up, but it's down on the ground. Is it down on the ground? Does he toe tap it as he has control of the ball? He has control all the way through, and that's the whole issue right there. Right. I say he has both feet down and control of the ball. We have 35 seconds if it stands. With the extra point, you've got a four-point game, and then Warner and company with two timeouts would have to go the length of the field. Can the receivers get far enough down the field? Rodgers in trouble. It's going to get there. He turned 32 yesterday. Does he have a vintage moment in him? In the end zone, it is caught for the win! Richard Rodgers with a walk-off touchdown. A game-ender for the Packers. Total disbelief at Ford Field. The Packers saved by the face mask call, given one last chance, and Aaron Rodgers Heaves it as far as he can, and Richard Rodgers boxing out in the end zone for the touchdown. It's all about five seconds. They're going to bring pressure. Well, they did the last time, too, which I thought was pretty smart. They got Rodgers backpedaling. He resets Starks. They are going to bring pressure again. Rodgers is going to roll away. Throws it up in the air, says a prayer, and Janice does it. Oh, stop it! Oh, please! <laughs> what a catch! That's insane! Oh my, that may be one of the great throws ever made. Moving to his left, falling away, and launching a perfect throw. That's insane. Now go back, of course, we have to watch this again. Did he have control? They look at it. It's a scoring play. Is it a catch? Ball is bouncing around on his chest. Oh! Ooh. That was Peterson behind him. Johnson comes in. Johnson got his hand on the ball. And then once he's in the end zone, then there was a late punch out there. I think he had control for a moment. And then it was Rashad Johnson. Is there control right there? And now Rashad Johnson comes in and punches it out. That's the way I would see that. Look at this throw. Unbelievable. Completely falling away, pressure in his face, and he launches. This is insane. Yeah, Janice got permission. There's a lot of discussion going on in New York right now. And here we go. First snap of the overtime. The Broncos have been in three overtime games this year. They won them all. Got him. Got him at the 40. It's Thomas at the 50. Stiffer got him free to the 30. To the 20. Thomas to the 10. Denver's going on the New England. They win it on the first play of overtime. Score six 
points on the first possession to close it out. They do it on the very first play. He was open at the 40. Tebow hit him in stride. And there was a stiff arm by Thomas delivered at midfield that basically ended the game. Thomas to the top of the screen just runs this route. We've seen it a few times. Look, nobody's in the middle. Everybody at the line of scrimmage playing run. Nice fake. Oh my gosh, nobody back. And Thomas. How about that speed? Outrunning both defenders with a touchdown. Ryan Mundy and Ike Taylor were the two back deep. And it's a stiff arm on Taylor that set him free. It almost, Jim, had to be a mistake for Ike Taylor to be on the outside with nobody helping him inside. But Monday, they've done it so much today. We're both safeties near the line of scrimmage. The Broncos, hey, they opened it up. That's why they won the game today. Watch the stiff arm. Oh, Thomas, big receiver out of Central Florida. First round pick. Not only the stiff arm, the speed. Four catches, 204 yards and a touchdown. Tebow, the most yards any quarterback threw against the number one defense all year, 316. And that magic that everybody's talked about when they had that six game win streak that was gone for three weeks, it was back in the biggest way. Let's think of John Fox last week after the game against Kansas City. He got in the car with his wife, and his wife had for a few seconds says, Wow, John, that was ugly. Well, Today, the exact opposite. Pontiac, third and three. We'll see a pick of some kind on the right side, possibly. Montana, looking, looking, throwing in the end zone. Oh, Dwight Clark! 